Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the second video in the series where we're looking at five popular questions for this year's GCSE, and it is the higher level. In the previous video, we completed question number one. So this video, we're going to look at question number two. Okay, so here we are at question number two, which is a probability question. It's a little bit complex, a little bit tricky to work through, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use uh, at least an idea of a probability tree. What I'm going to say is that I've got green and white counters. Now we're told in the ratio of four to one, but it doesn't necessarily mean we've got four green counters and one red uh, white counter. What it means is, is we've got a multiple of four. So it's going to be four X divided by five X for green and then one X divided by five X for white, because it could be any multiple of uh, four or one. OK, so then uh, we have basically the rest of the probability tree and we've got uh, this, uh, this uh, comment that the probability that both counters are white if they pick two white counters. So I'm going to look at that bottom line. So if we've got two white counters, what we're basically saying is the probability for the second white counter to be picked is going to be one less white counters. So therefore I can write this as 1x minus 1 divided by 5x minus 1. And when we multiply those two probabilities together we're told that that will equal 1 30th. So really it's just a case of solving this particular equation for x. Now it looks a little bit tricky to begin with but we'll kind of work it through. So what we've got is 1x over 5x multiplied by 1x minus 1 over 5x minus 1. Now I do understand I've just left that 1 uh, in place of 1x. So what I'm going to do however is I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say how can I simplify this and the first thing I can do is on the first fraction I can get rid of the values of x because it's still going to be 1 fifth even though we did say originally it was a multiple but the actual probability itself is still going to be 1 fifth. So what have I got now? Well I've got 1 fifth multiplied by and I'm going to put this in brackets now x minus 1 divided by 5x minus 1 and that equals 1 30. So let's just tidy that up a little bit. OK, so I've got along the top, I've got 1 times x minus 1. Well, that's going to give me x minus 1. And on the bottom, I've got 5 times 5x minus 1. Well, that's going to be 25x minus 5 and that's going to equal 1 30. Now, what I can do here is cross multiply just to make my life a little bit easier. Now, if I cross multiply, what I end up with, I'm just going to come up to the top here, what I end up with is 30 times x minus 1 is going to equal to 25 x minus 5. Okay, now when I start expanding this out, what I'm going to end up with is an ability to solve for x because I'm going to get 30 x 30x minus 30 equals 25x minus 5. If I bring the 25x over towards the left hand side here, I'm going to get 5x. And I get the minus 30 over to the right hand side, and that's going to give me positive 25 because I got minus 5 plus 30. So therefore, x must equal 5. OK, and that actually answers the question because I know now that the value of the greens, which I said was going to be a multiple of x, 4 times x, is going to be 4 times 5, which is going to be 20. And the value of the white is going to be 1x, which is going to equal 5. So therefore, there must be 25 counters in the bag in order uh, at the beginning of this particular process. OK, I hope that's been OK for you. A little bit of a tricky one. Um, I'll just put a snapshot of the actual uh, question on the top of the page, the top of the screen, and hopefully it'll be useful. Uh, please do let me know in the comments if you're not sure about anything. I do have other questions and other videos that have this particular type of question, and I'll uh, always send you the link. I hope it's been useful. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.